it's Robert and in this video I'll show you how to apply the following functions of Excel practically average if rank and average if welcome once again upon the end of this video I will demonstrate quick formatting hacks you can apply in your document to make it attractive that is alignment of contents coloring the cells sorting and printing let's start if I'm going to start by creating a spreadsheet file using Excel and feed it with the data as follows. So this is how I'm going to find the average for computer studies. Uh, go to formulas, insert a function and select average. Therefore it is average into bracket the range of the cells. And then I'll, uh, yes, like that. And then I'll copy the formula across up to the math instead of retyping the formulas again and again. Now, average for blue class, it means you're going to find the average in a conditional manner. Just the way we have some if, count if, it means you also have average if. So average if, okay. Under the range, you will select the streams for criteria, we type blue because you want on the blue. So we we'll type blue and the average range we check the computers. The computers. And we will get uh, 67.2. Now let us copy it across. Oh, we'll get an error message. So to solve this, you need to make the stream column absolute such that when we copy the formula across, the stream column remains unchanged. So insert dollar signs, dollar $C, dollar $2, up to dollar $C, dollar $11, and try to recopy the formula again. exactly now let us find the average for the red and we are going to follow the same same procedure can you attempt it in your own self confirm whether you will get the same results now let us find the average per student that is the five subjects divide uh, the total marks for the five subjects divided by five so let us use the average function as shown So average of D2 up to H2 and let us see how much Barasa scored. Barasa goes for 3.8. Copy the formula downward and you'll find that the last in here has got 62.8. That's right. Let us find the grades for each student given that our grading system will be like the one shown here such that a student will be awarded an A if she, he or she scores 8 and above, B for 60 and above, uh, uh, C for 40 and above, D for 20 and above, and below 20 it is an E. So this is how we are going to do it. So that's it. Under the formula bar we are going to type if that is 40 that is I2, that is 40.8 has scored. If this one is greater than 80, then this should be an A, comma. If the same same cell is greater than 60, or greater than or equal to 60, this should be an B. If the same cell is greater than or equal to 40, that is a C. Remember, we are working on only one cell, that is cell. I2 for the first student. So we do the same same thing comparing it with different values and if the same cell is less than 20 this one will be an E. Then close with the number of brackets equal to the number of ifs. Copy the formula downwards and it should be here yeah, pasted in this way. So the same function can be copied downward and be used to calculate the grade for each class average for blue and also for the red class. To position the students, we are going to use rank formula. So it equals to rank into bracket, select the first student, comma, 
then select the range of where, who are you going to compare the first student with then either in ascending or descending order now let us fill downwards that is but we can see that we have two number ones one with 65.4 another one with 62.8 that is an error Okunyoko and Simi are sharing their positions so to avoid this problem we are going to modify our function our rank function it has occurred because we have not set the range to be absolute such that it is not copied all the values don't change as we copy the function downward so apply dollar sign in the range function in the range dollar i dollar two up to dollar i dollar 13. copy again the formula and then it will be corrected that's how we apply rank formula having done with uh, these calculations and use of formulas it is time now to format or to enhance the appearance of our worksheet so first of all let us select the labels go to the sales styles and apply them to be set them to be heading two yeah, these are quick formatting. You don't need to form to apply your own formatting styles because of time. For the names, the strings, and even the admission numbers, we can. So we had forgotten to format our admission number. Set it as heading two. Now let us apply a different color. Is it a different color? No. Now let us apply another formatting feature known as cell wrap or wrap text. And this is how it works to fit all the text in the same cell no matter how wide or narrow it is now let us apply a different color on the names labels like admissions barasa and select one of these colors here click to apply now for the values and even the results and the rank we can apply another different color like this one Then after that, we consider our summary containing average, average blue and average red. But we also need the heading of this worksheet, like which school is this, which class is this. So insert a new row, insert also another row. Now the first row will be the main title and we will call it maybe ABC Secondary School. And the second row will be about what the class it is end term or else you just type form one end term one exam results now select the range of sales of the, the heading one and merge apply a style like let it be a title likewise form one select from a two up to k2 not the whole row but just where we are going to use let it be heading one exactly like that what if i apply borders for my worksheet so select all of it now go to format now it's in format format cells then format cells then under borders now you can select uh, the line style of the outline and also line style of the maybe horizontal horizontal borders and another line style for vertical borders it's all depending on your choice then okay and this is how my work it will look like if i may zoom this side it will look like more attractive than the way it was after that i can also insert something we call a header and type it maybe computer with robert my channel name and type it there and it will appear suppose this sheet uh, we had around 10 pages this text would appear above every page in all page margins then after that i'll go to the footer and here i can just insert a, a, a function like current timestamp and then when i'm done yeah it's nine that seven and after that page layout i can set it to be landscape or even leave it to be portrait and then a yeah, portrait and then i can go to file and print when i print i'll find that some content are spreading to the next page 
Therefore, to solve this problem, I must go to scaling and select fit all columns on one page. And this site will look like. But before I print, let me first center all the contents in this worksheet to make sure that all of them appear at the center of each column. Select all and under home, select center alignment. In that case, and then print. So for demonstration purposes, I will print mine as a PDF and save the PDF copy of this one in my computer folder known as MS Packages and give it a name like Student Details. Save, replace the existing one, yes. Then I am done with that one. So let me open my printed PDF and this is how attractive it will look like, well summarized and detailed worksheet in PDF form. Thank you for creating time to watch and learn new spreadsheet concepts. If this is your first time to visit Computer with Robert, hit the subscribe button in order to be the first to be notified of the next video upon upload. Goodbye.